Basically, hyperbaric works. You increase oxygen concentration dissolved into the body water, mainly plasma, but it goes into lymph and cerebral spinal fluid, etc. So we're, you know, dissolving uh, oxygen molecules, just like to make a soda. We, under pressure, we are putting carbon dioxide into a soda, okay? So that's what we're doing. We're basically taking oxygen and putting it in like the soda of our blood. We're dissolving it in there so it can go further. So that's what we do. So the variables are oxygen concentration, the pressure that we use, and the time of treatment. And there's all different kind of protocols. So the question is really not one that I can answer here quickly. There's 100% oxygen in heart chambers or non-portable chambers with uh, 1.5 atmospheres, 1.75 to, I'd like to not go too high. I don't think it's good for children with autism. There's the soft chambers, the portable chambers. They have lower oxygen concentrations. If you use an oxygen concentrator, lower pressures like 1.3. And contrary to popular belief, you can manipulate these to where I can take a child in a low pressure chamber and a, equ almost equal uh, many of the things I do with a, heart, a heart, high pressure or non-portable chamber. What do we see? It's the second most uh, it's the second most powerful thing I see in my practice. And with it, when it's with methyl B12, they're very synergistic. It's very often uh, able to help induce or produce language. It works with you know, awareness, et cetera. So the average person in my clinic, according to the protocols that we do and have developed, uh, will you know, have at least mild responses in 25 to 40 things out of 126. Uh, we've developed it with uh, people that have come to our clinic from around the world at this point in time. I estimate we have somewhere over 75,000 uh, treatment hours and we've seen somewhere between 800 to 1,000 children. We monitor them the same where the parents are the ones able to tell us what they see in a very specific way that's very sensitive because it's based on wherever their child comes in. It's the rate of change and what they've seen. So parents don't miss it. If it's there, they don't miss it. And it's really powerful, especially if their child responds to methyl B12. 85 to 90 percent of the children will respond to some degree to the protocols we do with a hyperbaric chamber.